my self-esteem, even though I was building it up and I lost weight and stuff like that, I'm now around the most uncommon of uncommon people. And I'm like, my God, I'm here. Do I belong here? Do I belong here? So your, your mind has a good way of taking the path of least resistance. Whenever friction happens, friction causes growth. Whenever friction happens, that's why a lot of us don't have any growth because when friction happens, we go the opposite direction. So in my mind, when friction happened, my mind said, oh, hey man, let's, let's, let's get out of here. You're not real. You've lied your whole life. You come from this, you come from this, you can barely read. Those things, so whenever times got hard, my mind said, you're not good enough, let's go. So my eyes, my mind weren't connecting. So how you combat that is this. I call it the cookie jar. You have to remind yourself. We all have a story. We've all, all of us have gone through very hard times. But when we're in a hard time, our mind has a way of forgetting what all we've overcome. I have a way of taking one second when I want to quit and saying, okay, you endured this. So I look at my life and how I came up as the ultimate training ground versus most people look at it as why? Woe is me. God, why? Right. Why? I had to flip this upside down and say, hang on a second. God was training me to be one of the baddest men on the planet. Earth. That's how this was my journey because those things beat me, but they didn't kill me. You got to have a permeating attitude that you're going to win. You got to have a positive outlook. You got to be optimistic. You got to know you're going to win. You got to, right now, you got to say, I'm going to win. I don't mean just this contest. I don't mean the contest. I mean, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. My life is going to win. There's going to be a victorious life here. Because listen to me, the price you pay for losing here is too extreme. You have to carry the burden of failure the rest of your life. You carry that around with you if you fail here. The biggest thing that breaks my heart is you feel the spirit right now. And then when you get back, these dream stealers run into you. And they start to steal your dream. And you quit. You give up. You got to decide I'm going to win. You got to decide that the failure part of carrying failure. You've been exposed to what your life could be. If you fail here, the price is extreme. It's forever. You carry the failure forever. I'm being honest with you. I meet people oftentimes that say, I was in WFG. You really changed my life for this meeting. But, but, but. And they put their heads down. They've been carrying it. They carry it. They see these Facebooks and Instagrams and what we're doing. You got to know you're going to win. You got to sell out. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to become a sellout. You need to sell out. You need to get obsessed. You got to get relentless. You got to be a road dog. You got to get intense. That's what you got to do. You got to put your head down for a four to six year window. I don't care if you're brand new or you're one of these front rows. We need four to six years right now. Like the best you ever had. You can feel it from me right now. I've been doing this 25 years. I haven't felt like this in 20. This is going to be the best run we've had. We're playing offense again. We're selling the dream again. You can feel it. We got some swagger at this convention, don't we? You can feel it. You can see the videos. We need your best. Let's go on a run. See, we're a family. We're a dysfunctional family sometimes, but we're a damn family. We don't always get along, but at the end of the day, we've done something great together. We've made history together. There's no, it's so funny we're talking about something. There's nothing even remotely, there's not even something even 22% the size of WFG. It's hilarious that somebody would, you think that there's something like this. My God, this is a behemoth. This is the Lakers, this is the Yankees, this is the Celtics, this is the Dallas Cowboys, this is the Patriots. There's nothing like it in the world. There's some dream stealers. You need to look out for these four. I don't want them to happen to you. You ready? Say yes. Dream stealer number one that'll take you out of here. Lack of confidence or faith. Lack of belief. It'll steal your dream. You gotta know you're gonna win. You gotta have some faith. These people sitting around you right now, they're whispering to you, you could do this. I believe you, just like when you were a little boy, just like when you were a little girl. They've always believed.